place mostly in uh, Calixis sector and to be more specific um, large bits of it will be in periphery subsector although obviously it will depend like what you will do I generally have like the first scenario first task uh, uh, written down and after you finish it or not assuming depends on how do you approach it but seeing how OP characters you created then uh, yeah, after after session, uh, seeing, I, I found it like you know Warhammer 40k Google Calixian sector map, and I I found it like that. And after that thing, uh, you will have it like I guess I guess free reign. It will like really depend how do you like will approach it, what will be the aftermath of it, and what. Not. But basically, as you gathered in Calixian Conclave headquarters, I guess, you either met with uh, one of the servants of Lord Inquisitor or received a like, letter, paper message from him that basically outlines, and then like data package, that basically outlines your current quest that you are at the first step, you are mean to go to uh, periphery subsector in Calixian sector and find a rogue trader named Maximilian Vermeer. Uh, apparently, he has. Uh, yeah, ob obviously, Lord Inquisitor doesn't give you that much information, but he. From what you've get, basically. Uh, you get the picture that both that rock raider and and other inquisitor called Valten Sidov were task or were or were looking for something that uh, may help Empire of Men some long lost uh, artifact because as much as Lord Inquisitor Kaiden is like a Crazy badass and zealot. He also knows that enemies, like Empire of Man, has many enemies, and the sooner they deal with at least one of them permanently, the better. So he's not satisfied with status quo. He seeks to find a way to like purge heretics, Xenas, and whatnot. He looks to find a, like a super weapon or something. Or maybe not exactly Superman, but something that will give Empire of Man a needed edge in uh, upcoming fights. So that will be uh, your task. Obviously, uh, Rogue Trader will have more information uh, at the site, and he and basically Caden asks specifically specifically for you because even though you are. As I mentioned, like you, all of you like start at 50 influence, so that's 10 higher than uh, average starting one. Uh, but you manage to make like waves, so people in Christian know about you, know about what you uh, did. So yeah, you are you are kind of you are not fresh meat, but you are also not very powerful inquisitors, and like you think that maybe Kaiden trusts you that. You don't know, maybe he trusts you, maybe he thinks that you are more useful to control than more powerful one. After all, Inquisition is just one big net of conspiracies, factions, and and whatnot, like feudal. But yeah, uh, also you, in that data package there is information that normally he wouldn't ask for another Inquisition cadre, but the information that was sent from that uh, Maximilian rock trader indicates that there were some sort of trouble and he requires more reinforcements and you need to assess the situation. Okay. Cool. And yeah, obviously there are some uh, words like you know, I expect great things from you. Uh, do not disappoint. Or uh, and as usual, 
May the Emperor Wouldn't be 40k with our random Emperor spiel. Yeah, that spiel is in every... in every... <laughs> yeah. But yeah, uh, you wouldn't need to requisition transportation to that particular site. Like, up until meeting with uh, Rock Trader, uh, like, y you have transportation to meet... Uh, and from that, you only get a suggestion that he, assuming everything's uh, alright with him and with his ship, he might be, because he was technically already working with Inquisition, uh, he might be more than willing to aid you in transportation and not, not only giving in, but transportation around sector and uh, but yeah, basically after after meeting him and getting like a good handle on situation, you will see what happens. But you will mostly have free reign how to approach the object. Cool. Sweet. Okay, so I imagine you, after you gather your equipment, you once again meet together uh, near... I guess you are using uh, Imperial Navy spaceship. Mm -hmm. uh, because as far as I, I'm concerned, as I was reading about information about this sector, there might be some Adeptus Astartes on, like, in the sector, but that's not likely. There are many other bigger problems uh, in like surrounding areas than Severan Domine. Mostly Imperial Guard is uh, fighting in uh, peripheries. So you will, yeah, like Admiral, not Admiral, like Captain, leader of one of the Imperial Navy ships obviously welcomes you uh, aboard with all of the uh, pompous and uh, like unless somebody has a death wish usually you are treated like kings <laughs> by mere like mortals <laughs> i mean that's how that's how it basically describes unless the people that you talk with is planetary governor adeptus astartes or rogue trader like, unless there's somebody else who is so-called peer of the Empire, they like, yeah, the sight of Rosette is enough to, like, you can really get a lot. So then he makes the change of being hated on by everyone. Uh, I mean, hated. I mean, no matter what oh. people think about Inquisition, they would not dare to say that. Oh, no, it was our old Ascension campaign where um, the GM decided the vast majority of NPCs hated us for some unexplainable reason. Then he did that wrong because book <laughs> clearly states that that most people, like for example, if you roll for requisition, so even if you like fail the roll of requisition, I cannot say that the guy just flips you off and say no, you do not get that because. Because you are then you are in fully right to just pull up Bolter and shoot him in the fucking head because he denies uh, things to like glorious mission of uh, like uh, in w what happens instead is that he like very apo apologetic fuck I can I will not pronounce that word that he's very sorry that he's like cowering before you and but and he gives you like explanation why he cannot like why he's not help you because of your like bureaucratic red tape or something or, or for example they clearly do not have anything but yeah mm. like unless somebody is like already a heretic or like has a death wish people do not state outright do, are not outright hostile to inquisition <laughs> because that ends badly for them yeah well, unless you are like planetary governor, space marine, chapter master, or rogue trader. 
because those guys can also have a lot of political impact and have a lot of influence. Mm -hmm. So yeah, uh, what I wanted to see, like, you gather at the ship and I just wanted to, like, see, uh, see, like, what is your, when you meet again, not, not meet again, but when you gather up for a mission, what is your, like, interaction uh, between you? Um, just considering how close our world views are, I don't I think it's entirely outside to say that Lyra and Cadis probably been together for quite some time, or at least work together a lot. Mm -hmm. um, uh, also, so a quick question about our story now. So we know we've worked together, um, and I'm a freshly minted Inquisitor, so is this like our official binding as our cadre here? Like, is this our first time working together as our cadre? Mm, that was my initial idea, yes. Sure, okay. Um, but this is the way like for Lyra to prove herself that she truly deserves to be Inquisitor and... Yeah, Caden okay. puts a lot of faith. Woohoo! Yay, yay. <laughs> That's a... Uh, an exciting and horrifying thing to have. Yeah, well, if you succeed, then being in good graces of your Lord Inquisitor, it's always a nice thing. But if you fail, <laughs> you know, it depends how badly you fail, but... Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, coming onto the ship and having the Rosette, uh, I'll obviously take up the, you know most luxurious and whitest quarters we have kind of make myself a nice open area and uh, just kind of like chat it up, I guess. Um, I'm not like walking around exposing the Rosette to everybody, but uh, to definitely the people who I need to, to get what I want. Um, and then I kind of just am like, relaxing on my way there kind of enjoying my throwing around my new power okay the other well for um, nations it's, it's going to mostly depend on you know how people react to psychers you know are so to say uh, um well, I mean, from what I've, the gist of it is that we've all worked with one another in some sort of fashion, yeah. so it's not going to be all like, hey, this guy's a psycho, we have to hate him. We acknowledge you for what you are. <laughs> You've done something to impress and prove that you're worthy, I guess. So it's not like we distrust you, but yeah. Uh, okay, this is very Puritan, so there's a little bit of wariness there, but for the most part, so long as you act yeah. within the bounds of a sanctified psycho, everything's hunky-dory. Mm -hmm. My character's background has a lot to do with psycho. She isn't very trusting of you, but everything, she doesn't have any qualms with you, per se. She will talk. Well, we're both technically but... guard. Yeah. We both have imperial guard background. She wouldn't necessarily open up to you, but she has no problem with you being around, considering, mm -hmm. yeah. No, no, the way I imagine well. it, like because you're a, like primary psyker, so the, if people know about that, they know that primary psychers are like best of the best. But uh, yeah, they even if it's no matter of trust, they like know you can do a lot of good. And I imagine mm -hmm. like they they trust him, and they trust him, and he trusts. No, wait, what I want to say that they trust him, but they also know that there might be a small slip up, so they will be here, there for him to st to stop uh, potential disaster. That's how I thought yeah. it would. Uh... Lyra is very uh, accomplish the goal by any means necessary, so she doesn't like hate psychers, they're just a means to yeah. an end. Kind of everybody is a tool. I mean, Inquisition is the great tool of the Emperor, after all. <laughs> mm -hmm, of course, that, that's all we are. 
in that case, then yeah, he's uh, wait, did uh, we're basically doing quarters, right? I think it's just to see uh, how we're interacting with each other at this moment in time. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I was trying to get out a feel for what the environment's like. Are we on a ship going somewhere or what? Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 I imagine you just onboarded the ship. That's like the entire lift up preparations are underway. Uh, He's probably getting in his room then too. Yeah. Okay. He's not super, you know. I mean, well, he's a psyker, so everyone, to an extent, knows that he's a psyker. But he's, he doesn't have the super, like, the from the book, you know, the haunted, I've been touched by by the warp uh, psyker feel on him. He's So he's not exactly sh uh, avoiding pe pe people as he goes to his room. He's not uh, ashamed of what he is. He, 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 he understands it, and that a lot of people aren't uh, going to be anything resembling his friend. But... Yeah, it's. Uh, I wasn't really asking about like NPCs, mostly like PCs on um, PCs, like seeing one another and like. Uh, it seems like we work together or something. Or unless this party will be like uh, that, only Lyra talks from time to time, and the rest of the people are like. People. Yeah. Even among. Especially. Oh, I another. She'll probably question. greet you at least. Did we all get the message the together? Um, I th well, it kind of depends on how these sorts of things go in. Um, you're our inquisitor, so we're mm -hmm. your cadre. Caden would have given the job to you, and then you would have been on like, come with me on this. Okay, yeah, usually so yeah, that's yeah. how it works, that you get... like the So essentially, room. she called us all here. So. I bet you're wondering why I've gathered you all here today. <laughs> is she wearing the rosette? No. She no. isn't running around with it. She kind of just flashes it to people who she needs to to kind of make her stay a little more comfortable. Was this promotion expected? Was, was it coming or is it a surprise for everyone? Uh, it depends on how close you are, I guess. Um, For us. Say. So, uh, yeah, like, I mean, if you, if you like, know a lot about Lyra and you, like, spend a lot of time, it, it's kind of like, she hasn't necessarily been trying actively to become an Inquisitor, <clears throat> but um, she's definitely, you know, got that. Uh, for the emperor, she's like a natural born leader, kind of has that air and like draws those type of people to her. So it's it wouldn't be. No, a I just huge want to know whether surprise. or not it's it's expect it's whether or not it's unrealistic to assume that yeah you know you finally got it's, you know, it's up to the characters. It's up to our characters, as he said. It depends how well you knew her. Yeah. So, so yeah, it will be up uh, to if, you. As for NPCs, if I may answer that, as for NPCs, they mm -hmm. they mostly see Lyra that. Yeah, she wasn't trying that hard, so she wasn't like their first choice for new Inquisitor. But seeing that she received promotion to Inquisition, it's uh, it's like they they went over that, so it's like not a big surprise. And as for like if you would know that, like I said, like uh, it's kind of up to you. But also like Lyra hasn't really flaunted it. Like her name isn't like. Mm -hmm out there really yet it's not like inquisitor lyra is like here oh my gosh it's she kind of is like trying to work her social situation and be able to kind of still like move around without her face being recognized yet so yeah. if you haven't been around her recently then you wouldn't know if this is like our first meeting in a number yeah. of months all we, all we whatever, basically know is that she's brought us here for some reason Okay, so we can do. I, I have an idea. Like we can do a briefing scene to see, like, sure. that uh, people, throne agents, arrive at the behest of Inquisitor Lyra. Some of them already know her, so she's a familiar face. And yeah, Let's see how, like, first question up to Lyra: like, how much do you like inform? 
Like, do you say, like, entire thing, what you... <laughs> yeah, so I'm not gonna outright inform, like, I'm not gonna be like, hey, everybody, I'm an Inquisitor now. Yeah, it's definitely if you've kind of been around. And that that kind of, like I said, uh, it's up to you mostly because Lyra will kind of, since she's so social, she'll kind of just, like, stick around people she trusts if, she, if they want to stay around her. So if you know her and you want to hang out around her, she's probably told you she's an Inquisitor by now. But if he, this is, like, uh, our first meeting in a number of months, then she uh, probably hasn't said anything about it. Her name isn't really big enough to recognize yet, so... Cool. So, assuming we're all in this boardroom and you pose the question, you wonder what we're all doing here. Um, Mariana stands at attention, just to, just a general militaristic pose, and would um, say, "No, ma'am." No clue. Kate is, doesn't tend to take her helmet off very often, simply because the glowing eyes tend to discomfort most people. So, reading her is extremely hard, but you'll sort of hear a smirk slightly in her voice. I think I have a re somewhat have an idea. <laughs> Put on a British accent. But I'm trying to do a mixed British oh, Chinese. How about the Oh yeah. So it's a bit English, but then have a little bit of Hong Kong kind of in there. We'll see how well it works. <laughs> um, so as we're kind of all like, Lyra's kind of just, you know, like really, she's like really casual. It's kind of her like personality in the air. She's like putting off when she's not, uh, kind of dressed up in inquisitor armor or her power armor or anything so she's kind of just like sitting in a chair like ordering people around to like bring food or whatever just like trying to make the area around her comfortable um and so uh she'll kind of like explain what happened with uh i just forgot his name but i'll kind of explain our mission that we're like yeah, Caden, that's right. We're moving to uh, the periphery to kind of hunt a rogue trader, and I was uh, given this task by Caden, and so we're, uh, since I didn't really have anybody uh, like around or with me, I kind of just in, uh, got in contact with a few people that I trust, and now we're uh, moving to look for a rogue trader. Would you say he's gone rogue? I think he <laughs> has. He's gonna audibly laugh. <laughs> <laughs> like not not like laugh like do like a yeah but yeah he's gonna like what I did that. <laughs> yeah yeah a little chuckle. Yeah because I, I if I if I wasn't like clear, like uh, he like works with Inquisition. He, he, that rock trader Maximilian Vermilion like said information like the reason Caden sends you is that he got message about some complications from at least that's what you but that's what you know but you can assume uh, everything who knows what what happened mm -hmm. Kind of just uh, unless unless the you worst. unless you get back uh, you get to sector and actually find the guy. Mm -hmm. so, Rogue traders are, traders are no ghosts. Surely there must be files on this individual somewhere. Assuming I the have, ship would have access to them. Yeah, I haven't looked into it yet. I mean, we've just gotten here, and I uh, figured I would address you all first. My apologies. 